So you've just started playing Hut, and you want a nice team. Well, boys, I'm going to give you three tips on how you can get your team to look like this sooner than you realize. But I'm going to tell you, if you're starting in April, you better have some good pack luck if you want to get there quick. If not, it's going to take some time. This game is a grind. This is my first year of actually playing Hut competitively. Well, not competitively, but just online and not really like, and like actually getting into it and trying to like learn all the events and who's good and who's not and like, what should I do? What shouldn't I do? And I'm going to tell you, a lot of these cards that I have, the Matthews, the McKinnon, the McCarr, the Hughes, uh, the Bobby, basically have came from the product of weeks and weeks of me not getting anything from packs. I was able to save up all of those players and build the team of the seasons. That's it's really it's really where it came from. The rest of them, Ronick, I built. I built Ronick. Hey Duke, I pulled. Yarsman was built. Obi was pulled. Francis was pulled. Darcy was pulled. Um, and Fox was pulled. The rest of these cards were built. So that's what, that's what I want to get into. The first thing is talking about building cards. So if you're a new player and you don't have a good team, if you come right over here to single player, you're going to see this hut moments, and you're able to obtain you're able to obtain a lot of cards through this right here and you don't even have to actually do much you have you have to put in some work but it's not hard the first thing i recommend is coming here doing these ultimate ultimate power of icon moments this is and these are the, and i'm gonna be honest with you boys these are the things i did when i first started playing and you don't have to get all three objectives you just have to get that icon collectible as you can see on that one i just got the icon collectible you get your collectibles and then you go over to the you go over to the sets and you'll get a power up icon, which is nice. It saves you some time. You the same for the X Factors. You complete these moments, and there are a lot of them. It took me probably 10 hours to do. 10 to 12 hours. And I was able to get and turn in all these X Factors and get a free X Factor. And I think my first X Factor was Tim Stutzla, who I really liked when I was playing with him because he was a great. Secondly, you're going to have, you're going to be greeted with just power up players that you can get in general. The newest one being Robertson, who I've used in squad battle, squad battles is actually really good. I haven't completed it just due to time constrictions, but win the game in two minutes. Boys, this team is like a 50 overall. It's not hard to win that game. So win the game, you get yourself an 86. And then the rest of the players are loaned. And you're able to just complete everything you need to. This may be the hardest, just the three goals. But there are videos, and there are videos that will help you if you have trouble scoring goals. So get the Robertson challenge done. If you're feeling frisky and you're still up for squad battles, or excuse me, for this you can come over and do uh, the Sarah Nurse flashbacks. She's got a great card. I did not complete her. Uh, the Stevie Y. I did finish him. There is a tra Taylor Hall trade deadline flashback. You've got the Matthew Barzell. You've got a flashback Martin Natchez. And you've got a Cap uh, Claude Giroux buried right there in the Halloween moments. And they're all great cards when you start. So I would recommend getting them if you are looking to get good players starting. Secondly, when you have a low overall team, I know everybody wants to jump on, play rivals, play hut champs, because that's what you see people play. It's competitive, it's fun, but with a 70 overall team, you're just going to get whopped. You're going to get whopped every time. And I don't want you boys to lose. I want you boys to be successful and have fun with the game. And squad battles is where I spent my first three weeks playing. I played nothing but squad battles. And all you have to do... It's just play. It's just it's just play against these teams. So as you see here, there's an 84, an 86, and 87. This was like a 70. I did some of the Jason Robert moments. You just go in there and play this team, and this team is not not good. But and you may be tempted because you're like, wow, I get so many points for playing on Superstar, and then I play on four minutes. This is just. But then you're gonna, you'll get in there and you'll lose five zero, and you're just wasting your time. So play on the difficulty that you're comfortable with with your team so that you can earn the most amount of points that you can possibly earn comfortably. And you'll get rewards. Honestly, I tend to stick in this Pro 1, Pro 3 range just because of my time sake. 
just because of how much time I want to spend on the game. I have got all the way up to Elite 1. That was a lot of work, boys, and I did not find it worth it, at least in my opinion. So this Elite 3 Pro 1 range, you're going to get a Mega Pack, a Player's Pack, some collectibles, and some coins, and that's really going to help you boost and be good to go. My third and final tip, so after squad battles and moments, is don't open packs unless they're packs that are given to you for free. And I'm saying this for this reason. There, I have a video coming later this week where I spent 400,000 coins on on packs, and I pulled and I pulled one purple, which is not good, not good at all. Yes, I did get more players, and I was able to build more collectibles, whatever. But it's not worth it in the end, because if we come over here, and boys, the auction house is not always accurate, so just. Take these prices a grain of salt. Let's go over here to overall. I'll do a 94. 94 to 95 is what I want to see. For 400K, I could have bought a Sarah Nurse, a Jeff Buke Boom, Oscar. I could have bought a lot of these cards here and really got a good player that was worth it. And these are good players. I mean, they're high overalls, they play well, and if you see your favorite, there's no point in not getting them. And I got an 87 instead of actually just securing the bag. So, and the lower overall cards are cheaper now because Team of the Season is ending. There's not really a reason to have these fodder cards in order to trade them for collectibles. So prices are going to drop, and you're going to be able to get some good cards at a cheap price and you're going to be able to fill your team up. And you're going to be at the 92s, the 90s, the 89s before you know it. And you're going to enjoy the game. I'll give you all a bonus tip. And this is something that's really helped me. It is my first year, so I do like playing with the highest overall cards I get. And some of the icons, Ronick, Gretzky, Hey Duke, Yeiserman, Francis, Tucker, Lidstrom. They're all fun cards for me to play with. I genuinely like playing with these cards. So, I use these cards, but I will tell you, I am starting to not like playing with, you know, I mean, honestly, if I'm being honest, that OV card down there is kind of getting a little, he scores goals for me, but I'm looking to trade him in because I want to play with somebody that I want to play with. And I took Schofield off, who was a 93, and replaced her with Jason Robertson just because I really want to play with that card. And that's really what I'm recommending, boys, is you have fun with this game. This game is meant to be meant to be fun. Some of the community is toxic. It gets thrown around all the time about how you get random messages after games. But as long as you're enjoying it and enjoying the sport of hockey, that's all that matters at the end of the day. That is all that matters. And that's what I like about this game is I love the sport of hockey. And that is the reason I make these videos is because I honestly seen how bad the community is at times. And I was like, you know what? I want to be a shining light. I want to be... I want to be that positive energy to where you can just come watch the channel. We're here to have a good time. That's the whole point of the Rivals and Chill episodes. I don't care if I lose. If I go to film a Rivals and Chill episode and I get my ass handed to me, it goes up. Because that's how some games are. Some games you win 10-2 to 2, and then some games you lose 2-10. to 10. So overall, just have fun, boys. And especially if you're getting this game on Game Pass, it's free. Just enjoy it. But alright, boys. I'm out. Don't forget... Keep the things that matter first, your friends, your family, your personal health, your mental health. Go for a run. Go do some push-ups. Um, and y'all have a great day, you filthy animals.